Hello. Hello, welcome to my channel. Renzo here. Can you hear me? Okay, let's paint. Let's paint a new portrait today. Just give me a second. I want to. Okay, we're good to my channel. Let's paint. Uh, I'm gonna start with. I'm gonna use bristle brushes. The colors I'm gonna use are titanium white, cadmium yellow hue, cadmium red hue, permanent electronic crimson, cobalt blue, and ivory black. Okay, let's disappear from here. Okay. Okay, let's paint. Let's see. What we can get today. I have these bristle brushes. Uh, number 12, number 14, number 12. I want to start off with this. I don't see the number anymore. This looks like at number 4. And I'm going to sketch a little bit. Mixing black, red, and yellow to mix brown. Let's make a sketch. The top of the head, around here, the bottom, around here. Okay, let's see how thick this is the face. This line is for, is for the eyes. And this is for the center of the face. Here is brow, nose, and chin. Okay, usually uh, we have to pay attention to the proportions. This is a good, good measurement that we can use during the process. From the brow to the nose, from the nose, to the, but on the chin, of course, it's not going to work all the time. We have to adjust that. Uh, check out the model's face, check out the proportion of the, fa the model's face, and change that if we need to. Okay. Hello, Latic. Latic is asking me what Photoshop version do you use? Oh, you asking me for the Photoshop that I use for retouching them, for making the critiques. Yeah, uh, to be honest, I don't know exactly. Uh, is this is that has any name? But I have here in my computer. It just says, it says Adobe Photoshop 2020. Yeah, just that. Mm. Hello Terry Sticka, Stickland, hello Irma, hello William, hello Mary, hello Tricia, hello Pop, hello Bongo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's continue painting. Have one eye here, the nose, the mouth here. Okay, let's put more paint. Now I'm gonna add more paint. I'm gonna try to add a lot of paint and let's see if I add more color, like some make more add more saturation to the skin. Let's see, you know, I have something in mind, but sometimes we change our mind in the middle of the process. Uh, my idea for the beginning is, first, I want to add a lot of paint, I want, okay? Second, I want to exaggerate some greens and reds on the face. Okay, basically just that. Mixing, just remember that for a skin color, you can always start off with orange and just knock down this orange with blue or black. 
black and uh, white or blue and white okay we can knock down this color a lot and that's basically what we need in order of course to add more color to the face it's not gonna be like the whole face is gonna have a lot of color it's just so we're gonna have some accents okay I don't know if you see me in Instagram, I'm just streaming in Instagram too. But to be honest, I don't know, this is my first time streaming in Instagram. And I'm not so sure that. I cannot read the comments in Instagram, so sorry. You know that uh, uh, it's easier to read the comments on YouTube because I have them up here on my screen. Okay, for the shadow again I'm gonna mix orange use a darker variation okay hello bango bango say I try replicating this technique this morning the painting looked like a burn 50. <laughs> Hello Dailies. Hello. Oh Eric, hello Eric. How long have you been need painting portraits? Uh, I mean how long have you been practicing painting portraits? Uh, a lot. I mean I know I, I paint a lot of things, not just portraits, but Uh, sorry, I just one of my cats trying to get into my little studio here. Uh, I'm painting maybe more than what? I'm 50. Uh, I'm painting. I started my on my 20s. That means it's kind of 30 years. And I painted portraits because I mean, you know, my my mom, she's a painter. I mean, she doesn't paint anymore, but uh, she painted these mainly portraits her whole life. I mean, my whole life I've been watching my mom painting portraits. And that's a lot of, uh, you know, I mean, when you see something like that at home, I mean, definitely get into you and... and uh, let's say that I started to paint portraits when I was in maybe the first portrait was when I was 15 or 14 uh, when I was a teenager. Hmm. And basically, yeah, I haven't painted portraits like all the time, it's a lot of time. But it doesn't mean that uh, anyone needs a lot of time to, to paint the portraits. I mean, that's just playing about my life. But with a couple of years maybe practicing, anyone, it depends, you know, it depends how much time you practice. But let's say a couple of years or maybe a year, it's going to be enough for for painting that a really, a really, a really nice portraits. I'm gonna put some green on the face. Maybe somebody's asking me why not ultramarine blue. Uh, yeah, it's okay to use ultramarine blue or to use cobalt blue. It's not like uh, you know. Uh, you gotta pay attention to the colors here in the mixture. If if I use ultramarine blue or cobalt blue, uh, I'm gonna get to the same colors pretty close 
99 percent uh, it's not like uh, i can choose a different yellow a different red a different red different yellow different blue and i'm going to be thinking always about the same here about this orangey gray down color okay and yeah i mean it's not it's, it's not like uh I, I know that it's important to have the same colors but it's not like something that you have to do uh, I'm pretty sure I mean sometimes I use primary colors sometimes I use the sword palette and I gotta say the result is pretty close you know and with the sword palette we don't use blue at all just it's just black that means that If you're asking yourself what blue to use, even you, you can choose not to use blue at all, you're gonna get to the same kind of gloss, the same result because uh, because of the skin color. The skin color is always an orangey, gray down color. We don't need like a a lot of variations, a lot of colors to get to the skin color. And you check out my channel. There's one video where I paint with burnt sienna and ultramarine blue and white. Uh, Bango is asking me, is this technique good for beginners or just, is it too hard? What should you start with as a beginner? Okay, uh, portrait is it's always going to be hard, okay, always. I mean, uh, a beginner uh, a painting portraits, it doesn't mean that you are beginning in painting. You should paint at least still life, landscape, you should paint for a while to know about mixtures, about colors in order to uh, to move to paint portraits in this way you don't deal with uh, what colors to add about the mixtures, about all of that uh, let's say that we need a little bit of experience about mixing colors in order to paint portraits a little bit of experience about drawing uh, let's say that when I studied in the School of Art, I was in my 20s, and after two years in the School of Art, the third year, that was my first portrait that I painted there. And it was my first portrait in the School of Art. And let's say it, and I wasn't a beginner, because I was, paint, I was painting and still life, landscapes, drawing a lot drawing, drawing uh, portrait but, but uh, speaking about painting painting that was the beginning for me in the school of art of course you know because of my background and my family i have started painting before that but if you go to the school of art you're gonna be a beginner portrait painter maybe in the second or third year it's no it's uh, okay i think the uh, you're not gonna get directly to paint the portraits. That's a good thing about um, being a self-taught. You know that we can, you can start just practicing anything we want at any stage. And by practicing and having a good instruction, uh, we can get away with that. That's really good. I'm adding some green here. I'm gonna add some red. You know, I'm gonna add more and more color to this painting, but first I just, let's say, uh, I'm mapping out, I'm kind of blocking in the color. Of course, that the reddish areas are gonna be always the same on the face because of the blood on the face, because of the muscles, the fat tissue on the face, it's gonna be always the same. That means that there is red here on the nose, there is red around the eyes, okay, there's red on the ear, this is pretty clear, you always see a lot of pink on the ears, a lot of red. A, red, a little bit of red on the chin, on the cheeks. Oh, 
for in the mouth. I'm gonna add some bread to the mouth. Okay, I have like a neutral skin color. I have these reds and greens. Now, of course, I can play with more colors like uh, adding a reflected light on the shadow, making the shadow bluish, anything you want. Uh, when we paint with more blur brush strokes, we can just uh, even change the colors. Like, for example, I'm going to do this just for experimenting, okay? If I don't like this, I'm gonna take my palette knife and just take out all this paint. Let's use some blue here on the shadow. I mean, we can make any color work. Uh, it just depends about uh, the balance. It depends uh, that we're not gonna leave like one just one portion, one blue portion alone. We have to always think that about rhythm and repetition of the color. If you add some blue here, definitely you have to add more blue on the shadows. Here, 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 here. All of the shadows. Okay. I'm gonna paint a little bit of the background. Just gray. Let's see the shape of the head. So it looks like everything is okay. I'm checking the light means, uh, uh, for example, just the brow or the eye and see if it's aligned with the ear. Just a, a horizontal line and look if I find some alignment. Like for example, this here the same. The corner of the mouth is aligned. Uh, if I trace a vertical line, it's aligned with the the half of the the eye. Anything that you can use, hmm? use it like uh, trace lines all over uh, the photograph if you want to. Making a portrait is going to be always difficult and we can use any tool we want. a little bit on the tears okay. I'm always checking out measurements remember we have to check out the days of the time and the center line of the face okay That's gonna be important. Maybe all these measurements are not gonna fit our model's face, but anyway, 
to have a, a nice structure oh, is always going to help us, okay? Instead of trying just to guess the position of the, the nose or the, or the mouth. For example, to draw the mouth, usually uh, we calculate here from the middle, from the base of the nose to the bottom of the chin, the middle, and the middle is going to be for the bottom of the bottom lip. That means that on top of this line, we place the mouth here. Now, of course, it's not just about that. You know, I can tell that this guy has like a higher, this measurement here is higher than this one. And that is up to me just to adjust that. Now about the shadows, uh, we can choose to always uh, add contrast, temperature contrast. Temperature contrast it means that we can choose between warm lights, cool shadows. I remember the, uh, the reflected light, okay? It's not just about that. I mean, it's just to have an idea about how to build up the color. Every time that we think about color, we have to think about temperature. When we are beginners, we don't think about temperature. And that's pretty good, because we don't want to think about that. It just could be so complicated to start thinking about temperature when we start to dealing with form, with values, shapes. Now, for example, you decide to uh, make all the light, all the shadows warm, really warm. When you add a color like this here, you have to add it on all the shadows. Okay. You have a repetition of that. If you decide to add blue, like I did it a few minutes ago, you have to add blue everywhere. Okay, we can make it work. We can make it work. Don't worry about that. Color, it takes a little bit of time, but we can get there. I mean, the more important about that is, is uh, I mean, I cannot say that not, nothing is less or more important, but values are the ones that we have to be really worried about. Hello, Monica. Hello, Fanchon. Hello, Barbara. Hello, Leslie. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, Mon Monica. Hello, Michael. Okay. Right now, I'm just, uh, let's say, uh, thinking about what to do. You know, I added a blue shadow here. And now I add in red. Okay, I'm sharing with you, with you all my doubts and all the things that we usually think when we paint. You know, I can go back and think about adding a cool color. What about if I add violet? Okay, the same for the the light. What if I add more yellow or just? Uh, a more cool color to know that we can get away with really cool highlights like just mixing black and white of course a lot of white and since the skin color is a warm color we can add this as a highlight and it's going to work okay why by contrast okay, I repeat this 
usually in all my videos and sometimes I explain a little bit more sometimes a little bit less it depends okay I can choose this or I can choose just some more warmer color a warmer color is orange obviously with more yellow and this could be my lights now I know it looks like a kind of uh, difficult to choose from one or the other but definitely both could work of course that's gonna change which color you use is gonna change your skin color a little bit okay I gotta think about about the face about the proper about the likeness eh? I wanna capture the likeness I always try to capture the likeness for the likeness eh, it's a lot of practice and checking comparison of course because you know that I, I, I try to copy something when you try to copy something you have to compare a lot the best way is always have your uh, photograph next to your painting this way you can just move the eyes and compare if you are moving the, your whole head to check out your models the model photograph or a life model I mean something is wrong there something is just wrong you have to be able just to see the models photograph just by moving the eyes a little bit without even moving the head okay that reduce a lot of uh, stress and, and at the same time I mean you know if you put two things really close together that's gonna be easier to compare as simple as that okay you put something that in front of you is something behind you and you have to just turn your whole head to check out that's gonna be difficult to compare with simple logic okay for the people that's watching my video in Instagram I have, uh, I don't know if you can see com the colors complete, I have here 13 and white I just have primary colors, 13 and white, camel yellow hue, camel red hue permanent is in crimson, cobalt blue and black and what you see here is just a rug that I use to clean out my brushes but the people on YouTube can see the rug here uh, a little bit be below is a table. I don't know if you can see a small table that I have here where I put my brushes. You know, when we paint the La Prima, it's okay to use a lot of brushes. I prefer to use a, lo use a lot of brushes instead of clean out brush by brush or use just one, two brushes, one or two brushes, and keep it cleaning. I just want to save time. save time that's gonna give him more time to think about the drawing think about proportions think about light and shadows okay one thing that I have to do is just target the shadows well let me see mixing here some pink it's not pure pure pink because I, I had already some mixture here kind of a mute pink uh, painting just the the lower eyelid
doesn't look like him. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay, we're in the process. When we start just uh, painting and like this without any previous drawing, you have to deal with uh, drawing with your brushes, paint and draw. That means that uh, it's about adding color, values, some details, and at the same time checking out proportions and of course comparing a lot okay. so I'm not so sure about this this edge here I'm just gonna kill this edge I'm gonna put it later but things I'm not so sure I prefer to have it like this. of the lightman of the eyes okay let's see how much green I can put on the face This is not going to be the final color, I'm just checking out if how much I can push these colors. Okay, how, uh, com how much I can saturate this. I know that it should be darker here. To knock down green, you add the, the opposite color to the mixture, okay? Two ways to gain down any color is just adding gray, obviously black and white, or adding the opposite color, the color wheel. Hello, Maggi, hello, Grayson. Oh. Hello, Lavor Lavoril, Daniel. Red to kill down the screen a little bit. More yellow. That's too greenish here, but that's okay. That's okay. You know that. With this, this, uh, this technique you can add just a brush stroke and change completely one color.
למנהיג. It was too much green. Yeah. <laughs> too much green. Too much green here, too much pink here, too much red here. Yeah. But that's okay, you know. I mean, it's gonna, it's gonna take a little bit to adjust. And at the same time, I have to think about the lightness. Okay. I think. The width of the face is not okay, yeah, definitely I can tell that. The shape of the head definitely is not okay. He has like a funny uh, head shape, like something like this. Okay, see a reflected light here. Mm. Let me change the color. I want to make some permanent Alicia and Kinson in blue and white. I'm just thinking about values squinting down my eyes. Okay, for example, uh, when I squint down my eyes, I see more easily lights and shadows. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. I know something is wrong with this value here. It's just too light. Okay. I'm gonna do something just to keep checking on my values that because I have so many mistakes on my values here okay for example I'm gonna do this while I keep my eyes squinted okay a light here light here light here Light on the nose. Light here. And here. Okay. Yeah. I think these are the areas where I see more lights on the face. Of course there are more, but I just keep my eyes squinted, squinted down and checking out this. Okay, let me continue doing this. Uh, okay, this uh, value right now is better, it's a little bit darker, I need to darken up here more. I need to darken below the chin. Okay, I need to darken the shadow, maybe make it definitely darken up the shadow more. Or if I want to match the shadow on the photograph that is really dark ok what about proportions I think I'm doing ok with the distance from the brow to the nose the nose to the chin this is higher than this that's ok 
the width of the face, yeah, the width of the face is not okay, I have a problem here. Okay. What is what about the shadow here in this small portion? Okay, on the shadow what I see is this shape here, like this. Something that goes like this. Another brush, a bristle brush. I'm just stepping back a little bit, trying to compare. Okay, uh, not. Uh, I know that something is wrong about the width, of the width of the face, but I'm paying more attention right now about the, the eyes, nose, and mouth. The relationship between the eyes, nose, and mouth, the distance between, between them. Okay, if I have to separate the eyes a little bit more, or put it, put put them closer a little bit. Checking the alignments, the corner of the mouth aligned with the mirror of the eye. Here, the corner of the mouth aligned with the nose. All those alignments are going to help me to keep the mouth and the eyes just close to the uh, to the right position. I hope. Hello Jonas, hello Pete. Okay, let's continue painting. Okay, there's another brush. I'm gonna mix a dark color, black, red, and a touch of yellow, a touch of blue too. Let's see. Over the shadow here. I don't like this color, but I think the value is better. I'm speaking about the shadow here, okay? this and this a little bit. I'm gonna put more color, of course, more paint. Okay. Now let's move to the shadows on. Here on my screen, okay. Mixing black and red.
and over it. I'm not saying that this is going to be the final color here. What I'm doing is using this shadow, shadows to draw. Okay. Okay. Now I compare. I compare obviously shadows, light and shadows. Now it's easier. Check out the shape here. This shape. Okay. That's what I'm using to to draw. You know, drawing is not, it's just, it's not just lin linear, it's just not making lines. You can continue drawing with shapes. Uh, that's one problem when so, uh, sometimes I have seen, seen somebody just, uh, let's say, trace the drawing and then put, put paint on top of that and when you put paint, you're drawing too. You have to check out the same again and again, the proportions and all of that. If you don't do that, maybe when you finish up putting the the colors, definitely something is gonna move. You're not gonna know how to fix it. I think I exaggerated the shape of his head a little bit. But this is good, okay? If we exaggerate the shape and that's, uh, that's helping you with the drawing, that's perfectly good. See a lot of reflected light here. Let me see if I can turn on one light. Okay, I think that's better. Okay, let's continue. Pick up a small brush. Let's continue drawing. Eyes, mouth. Hello, uh, Shai, thank you. Hello, Kay. Hello, Umurunda. Hello, Dennis. Hello, Dita. another shape of the mouth and it a darker shadow here Okay. 
Snow. Okay, okay, okay. I feel I'm getting close. Then uh. he's telling me, please don't miss the perspective with the left eye. I don't know what are you talking about. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, Dennis, thank you. <laughs> I will try, I will try. Okay. Uh, basically, I'm making a brush stroke and comparing. Not a brush stroke and comparing. Uh, like I did, a brush stroke here and comparing. I, I know I have to move this, but I cannot uh, just doubt too much about adding a brush stroke. It's, it's, it's better to just paint, see if something is wrong, and it's obviously it's wrong you just move it but you need to see something okay we need a shape in order to move this shape if uh, you're sort of afraid afraid to add the brush stroke because you're gonna be thinking it's gonna be wrong and you overthink this too much it's, 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 I mean at the end there, uh, there's no right or wrong, wrong about anything, it's just uh, like uh, we have to just think that we need, we need to paint. At the beginning it could be even a little bit faster in order to have this kind of shape here and then we start moving everything around. Add more shadow here. Now, uh, this green, I don't like right now this green here. I don't like this color here. I'm gonna add more paint. Let's see how I change that color. Or let's see if I use another green. Or maybe I change it for blue. Yeah, who knows? The other leaf. <laughs> okay, that is. Gustavo is asking me. Oh, I was asking me about the, this greenish color. It's gonna stay here, or if you wanna apply a, a glaze. No, there's no glazing here. It's just about. It's a La Prima painting. It's just try to finish up. I'm gonna try to finish up this painting today. Uh, usually, I don't like to retouch my paintings I will say the prima is the prima uh, but definitely if I see something that I don't like on the painting like too much I'm gonna retouch it but my idea here is it's not about uh, thinking what is going to happen if I add, add a glaze or 
or something. No, no, it's just continue building up color and volume. Yeah? I add a shadow here, green, red, add the light here. As you know that it looks rounded and get into the to the form of the chin. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be the same here and there, for example here. Uh, and adding light again and the idea is obviously have the light here transition to the shadow here where I see a little bit of light here a little bit of light okay with this is kind of getting close to the values where is light where is shadow when I establish these lights remember all these lights here I'm just going to try to let's 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 see for example let's say that I'm not gonna add any of these lights here in this area okay why I'm gonna keep these lights for the face and even that I can tell that I see maybe a light here this I'm not gonna make this lighter and the ones in the middle of the face to step back okay. oh. mm -hmm. yeah. Shy is asking me can ask the color brand being used here I always use for all my demos demos here on YouTube Winston from Winston and Newton is the student version more white okay I like the forehead I want a more clean orange go to add this camion orange camion orange hue Permanent uh, different crimson and copper blue and white. Okay, you know that if you don't like something, you just take your pipe knife. 
take out the paint, okay? Just do like this. And you paint over again. I want to see this color here. Like I said, if I don't like it, I'm going to change it. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there for a minute. And I don't want just to follow my first impression. Okay. I'm gonna continue working the face and let's see. Okay, let's see. Okay, I think it's getting a little bit better with uh, the mouth and nose. Let's work on the eyes and the uh, and the eyebrows. Okay, about the shape of the head, of the width of the face, I think it's a little bit better. Mm, just to work, I need to work here in this area a little bit more. work on this eye. Try to paint in the iris. Okay, now the white of the eye. of light on top of the eyelid.
Hello Manuel, hello Michael, how are you? Okay, let me see. Yeah, I think I'm kind of close. Yeah, let's continue. What time is it? It's been, it's been an hour, I have plenty of time. Okay. Plenty of time to adjust here and there. You know, uh, if you want to paint with me, paint along with me, I have paint along sessions on my Patreon account. Uh, we paint uh, using Zoom, it means that we can speak to each other, can critique your paintings, and it's a lot of interaction there. Uh, you know that we can see each other, you know, because with Zoom we use, you want to use the camera, I can see your painting. And the most important thing is the critiques. Eh? We paint Saturdays on the morning and from 10 a.m. to kind of 3, 3 p.m. We paint with oils first and then with acrylics once a week, every Saturday. If you just can join, check out the link in the description box. Saturdays we paint uh, still lives, we paint landscapes, anything. We have painted the still lives, one in oil, the other one with acrylics. Uh, last Saturday we painted a landscape. No, uh, sorry, we have painted a landscape and the previous Saturday we've painted a couple of uh, horses. Yeah, I'm misconfusing the days. Okay, we draw Wednesdays night for about three hours. I think I got the eye kind of close, you know. I think I should open the eye a little bit more. Anyway, let's continue working. I have a lot of wrinkles here to paint. Definitely that's gonna add more age and more personality to this character. I think I got this eye. Mm -hmm. For it, let's move to the other eye.
work, you know. change this color. I'm going to keep some green but at the same time uh, I have to darken up this. Um, let's see. Okay, this first this shadow here. A little bit orangey or reddish. Let's go here. More grayish color. Trying to be sure that the value is right. Okay, and it's going to know my eyes. Now I, I gotta say that for example here, here's the light. All this area is light. I need more light here. Okay, I need more light. More lights here. Okay, uh, and then this kind of a gradation from light to this value. That means that here it should be darker. It should be darker here. Okay, a little bit of the hair there. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna step it back. I think it's okay. I, 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 have, I gotta darken up this area. It looks like a bump, and this is about the shape. And to darken up this. Okay, let's see. Let's see the ear here. Okay, I'm gonna cut this here. Sí. Como una hora. Sorry, that was my son. asking me. You know, I'm streaming to Instagram with his cell phone. <laughs> I'm not using my cell phone. You know what happened? That uh, I realized that one of the cables is just it's not working for my cell phone. I bought some cables to kind of. Uh, uh, I have the internet connection directly to my cell phone in this way because you know what because the Wi-Fi Wi-Fi is kind of not that stable that when we use uh, we connect the cable to you know the same connection that we use with the computer and I realized that I couldn't make it work and I had to use my son cell phone I, to be honest, I don't know. Sorry for the people that's watching in Instagram because I'm not able to to see the comments. You know. Put more light, light on the face. Okay, let's see some critiques. Where is Dennis? Oh, here's Dennis. <laughs> Dennis is saying not sure about the left eye and the nose light. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the nose, uh, the, the whole nose is too dark. It should be the whole nose a little bit lighter. I was thinking about that. Yeah, because the nose is just, it's, it's not coming forward. And at the same time, I have to work on the colors, on the colors around the nose too. Let's see, let's continue. I know you can see on the image, I have a link to the image if you want to paint with the video. Th this eye is a little bigger than this one. Okay. And uh, you know that when, when we try to capture that because we're trying to copy exactly, you know, the character, the actor. It's kind of difficult sometimes. We, in order to get that right, we tend to exaggerate things a little bit. Like, you have to be, you, you should just have to be really focused about this, but, yeah, you know, it's not gonna be easier. No for you, no for me. This could be one of the things that I could retouch maybe in a week. Because pretty sure that in order to get this eye a little bit bigger than this, because that's what I see on the photograph, you know that it's okay to copy even that, even because you know we're copying an, an actor. You have to be trying to be very accurate about that. But maybe at the end, this eye is gonna look even even bigger. And it's gonna look at as a mistake on my painting. And the only option I have is retouch this. Maybe as soon as it gets dry, or maybe tomorrow. A little bit of light on the sclera here. Just a little bit, okay? Don't paint this clear as white. Okay. A little bit. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of light to the ear. I have to work here on this, his eye back. Now I need a transition here from the light to the shadow on the nose. You know what I do is let's say I have a dark color here that I'm trying to what I'm trying to do is a color that is between the light and the shadow. I apply the brush stroke and then I change the pressure on my brush stroke to get some blending here with the light. some reflected light here Dennis is saying, I know Renzo since around a year, or yeah, yeah, maybe more than a year. So now I feel where and when you will miss. Oh wow, you know me that good? 
Oh wow. Yeah. That means that in one year I keep making the same mistakes. After one year, maybe more than one year, I keep making the same mistakes. Okay, let's see. Okay, let me step back. Yeah, I think I'm getting close with the expression, but I'm still having problem with uh, the width of the face, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the problem at the same time, like, I feel that something is not okay with the width of the face, but I can tell that he has a really thin face. Yeah, let's put some, let's put more light here just to get the thickness of the face in this side. Okay, I have too much shadow here on this eye back. Okay, I think the nose is okay. Eyes. Yeah, mm, something maybe it's not okay with the head. Mm, okay, okay. continue working. I was checking out the ear, the width, trying to see the width of the face, high, proportions, angles, you know that I always check out this angle from the base of the nose to the eyes. I'm trying to compare the same, the size of the eyes. We tend to paint the eyes bigger. That's a common mistake. That's something that everybody everybody does. It's just like we put a lot of attention to the to the eyes. I gotta be careful with that. I'm not in a highlight here. Just a little bit. Add a little bit of light to the ear. Is another brush with a darker color. Okay, let's see, let's 
see I'm just gonna use a lot of red for the shadow on the ear here and I'll add more red Remember you can add a lot of red on the ears. Now the shape of the ear, you know, it's rounded. My ears just kind of it's not the same shape. This is more circular. Mixing black, coming red. Okay. Okay, I think it's okay. Now this shadow here, a little bit of red too. See some comments. Let's see. Let's read some critiques. Uh, uh, perspective is not there. Okay, I'm gonna check out on that. <laughs> One little finger stroke and it's back. Okay. The eyes are a little too high. Okay, I'm gonna check out on that. Let's continue. Let's continue. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting close, I'm getting close. I mean, I'm having some, uh, I need to correct some values. You know, you can see this area here. I have like a mid-tone and a shadow, but I don't have a light here. I need, I had the light. I, I added a light here, like this. Okay. I added, not, not that bright, maybe, but I added a light here, 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 and here. Yeah, but I don't see any more. That usually happens with, because we add more and more paint. You know that we're trying to get the color right. Sometimes we we think, for example, at some moment I think, okay, my colors are not okay. And you know that that's uh, something that's, that's pretty normal. Just I like it the next minute I think, mm, no, it's kind of, kind of pale. I, I need more orange. Then it we all I mean go through the same the same emotions or thinking about color about adjusting usually that happens when we paint on a prima if we paint uh, if we plan to paint maybe three four five sessions that's different because we're gonna be able to fix things that means that if I see something wrong on my painting, I said, okay, maybe I'm gonna add a glaze there. I'm gonna fix that easily. But when we painted the prima, it's different. You know, that is kind of, well, I see something wrong, I gotta fix it now. Eh? And maybe you try to fix it and you ruined. <laughs> you say, what happened? Okay. I ruined my painting. And you gotta again, try again, and again. Okay. 
Now I have a separation here between this kind of grayish color around the face and I want I want to add a brush stroke here, more orangey brush stroke to kind of break this separation between this greenish color and this orangey color in the middle of the face. Yeah, I got that, that better. I like the ear. I'm gonna add more lights to the ear, but I like it. Yeah, I, can, I think I can use more of this red on the ear on the face, like I thought at the beginning. I thought in like red here, like that, and red here. You know, uh, I started with some blue, then I added red, then I, I add in red again. The thing. And you have to think about the background. Background is going to be something really important about how to change this color, this color on the skin. Okay. Stepping back, okay, let's continue. Where I move this? I saw that I have to move this a little bit to the left. Okay. I have captured the screen and uh, I'm going to open Photoshop and what I do is I put uh, the, the, the photo, uh, I open the photo in Photoshop and I reverse the image. And this way I check out, it's like using a mirror, okay? We have to use a mirror. I uh, prefer to, to do this because, uh, I mean, it's more stable for me instead of holding a mirror here. You know, I have my camera in front of me in order to make the live stream. And it's kind of difficult to hold a mirror here in front of my camera. That's why I prefer to do this. Uh, it's kind of pretty similar to using a mirror. Okay, this way I can check out and see if I'm doing okay or not. Yeah, I think I'm doing okay, but I think I need to work on the, the width of the face. Uh, but I think here I have a kind of close in this area. Yeah, it's too thin here. Yeah, so I moved my cell phone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think the face is tilted a little bit different. But that's okay, that's normal. No big deal. I'm not gonna make a big deal about that. I think it's about the shadow on the face. Yes, 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 yes. I think I, I uh, oh, okay. It's about the shadow here. Mm, let's I'm soften this. Let's work this area again. It's just a little bit, but I don't know how much. Let 
the same time here. Darken this here. Darken the shadow there. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Darken this. Okay. And the neck here too. mouth okay, I need to kill some edges here Okay. Okay, 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 okay. That's okay. Mm -hmm. I have to soften this. Okay, what about the lower lip? Now that I'm working here. Yeah, I have to soften this to make this more rounded. I mean to create the, the volume here in this area. I need more light. Oops, that was too much. Okay, I'm gonna read the comments while I'm thinking what to do. Uh, okay, hello, <laughs> hello, Ri, Ri. I 
think the left of, of Peter is saying, I think the left of the face is too long. Yeah, I'm gonna check on that. Maybe chin a little bit shorter. Yeah, yeah. I was doing that. Yeah, you're right. Uh, okay. Okay, let's continue. Yeah, fixing mistakes is in the process. We know that. Uh, this thing a bit about mixing mistakes. I mean, that's just painting. <laughs> that's the process of painting. There is no way to paint. Start start off a painting without uh, having mistakes. It's just it's part of the process. Now we gotta see how much we can fix those. I mean, we have to. We have to kind of uh, go back and forth with this. I mean, sometimes. Uh, uh, for example, I added a brush stroke here. Now I'm stepping back and I'm going to light up this a little bit. Okay. And I thought it was okay when I added the brush stroke. I don't like it. Now. And that's okay. You know, that's part of the process, like I said before. Sometimes a one brush stroke is kind of is going to kind of ruin or painting a little bit, and sometimes what is going to happen that sometimes we see the person there is kind of oh my god I'm pretty, I'm pretty good I'm pretty happy I see the person the next five minutes we lost it kind of we don't see it anymore and it was just a, a couple of brush strokes before that it was okay. Of we gotta get used to uh, this idea about the process. In this way, we're gonna be more relaxed about painting because it could be really frustrating sometimes when we paint, we paint, we got a brush stroke, and we keep seeing mistakes and mistakes, and we keep instead sometimes of fixing, just making the painting worse. And definitely, sometimes that happens. Sometimes we wish I should have stopped. An hour ago, when I was, it was kind of pretty, and now it's not okay. Yeah. So uh, that's why so many people usually ask, when uh, do you know where to st when to stop? That's a kind of difficult question. Uh, if you have uh, already a process, a kind of uh, that's usually a process. It has so many steps, like when, when step one to step step ten. Obviously, you you if you're in step eight, you know that you're getting close to the end. Now, obviously, when we paint a portrait, there is something that we cannot count. We cannot count this thing about the likeness. Okay, this is something that they just get and on in our way and kind of fight us because uh, sometimes we can even throw away all our plant because something is not okay with the likeness and we have to learn to kind of let it go just sometimes we're not gonna get it that's okay you know every painting is a process every painting learning to paint is a process and even when uh, you, you've been painting maybe for 20 years that's not a guarantee that all the paintings are, are gonna be okay yeah, it definitely, obviously, with more practice, we're gonna get better and better and at fixing mistakes. Better, uh, uh, even to know when to let it go. A painting, just to say, okay, that's it. I'm happy with what I got, and that's it. Yeah. We learn that too. It's not just learning all the time to get something kind of perfect okay. of course I mean that doesn't work for everybody eh? 
it depends on your, your style it depends what you want so many things if you want if you're planning to paint like a, a hyper realistic painting like a photograph definitely I mean you're gonna stop when you feel like it's kind of perfect pretty close to the photograph But when you're painting with a more bold brush strokes, with more painterly approach, that would be kind of tricky because sometimes you see like a brush stroke like it's working. For example, here, I feel that these brush strokes that kind of follow the shape, I like them. I like them a lot, but maybe I'm gonna f uh, have to darken up the here. And the next brush strokes I'm not gonna look that I'm not gonna look okay and I'm gonna try just to kind of mimic the brush strokes that I like you know because uh, some, it could be kind of an even an accident having a nice brush stroke sometimes but the idea of, of course is trying always to control as much as possible or painting even what some people think accidents uh, for a professional painter, it's, it's more like a, something intentional. They could look at like an accident, but it's, it's not an accident, it's something intentional. Intentional something is that takes a little, uh, so many tries, so many tries and errors to the point that we get, we see what we want and that's it. And so many times we we get just an amazing, an amazing brush stroke by accident. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I think it's better with. Uh, I'm getting better with the width of the face. Yeah. I'm gonna work a little bit on the background because I need to see the contrast. I still, I don't see like pretty clear this thing about light and shadow, the, just this area, I need to darken this up to, and I need to block this light, you can see that how mm, this glare is affecting my shadow, it looks lighter than it really is a brush to paint the background. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, uh, Rory is saying something about the critics. Yeah, that, that's okay for me, the critic. You know that uh, for real that sometimes uh, after two hours uh, you know that we got a little bit tired and so many times I critique here on YouTube that just saved me for letting my painting with a terrible mistake yeah, and sometimes uh, to be honest I don't see the mistake like even when people is pointing out the mistake and say okay I don't see it <laughs> But sometimes it's just like uh, somebody point a mistake and so it's for me like, oh my god, I didn't see it, it was so clear. That's okay. Okay, I think in order to kind of deal with this area, that, that's kind of the difficult area, I'm gonna make everything kind of blurry here. I'm gonna add some, just make this sharper. Uh, let's see, let's see. I want to see this first, if it could work. Okay, a little bit of light. Just here, okay? 
and blur it here. I need to put more on the eyes because I mean I think the expression is kind of there but I don't f I feel that I should add something more For the people that wants to make a critique, that's okay. I take this as a practice. Even when you see something, you're practicing your observation. Okay. Sometimes we don't see mistakes. Uh, yeah. I remember some students uh, that after a couple of months they they were like, "Oh my God, I see so many mistakes on my painting," and for me it was feel happy about that because I mean your observation is getting better. You know, a couple of months ago, you were just so happy with your painting with a lot of mistakes, you didn't see them. And I didn't want to point them. <laughs> and that's why when we go back after practicing some time, we go back to our old paintings and we start to see, oh my God, it was so terrible. I remember when I was uh, a teenager, I, make, uh, I, made, I made a sculpture, a face. And I was so happy with my sculpture. I was kind of showing my sculpture to everybody. And then I showed this sculpture to my friend. Uh, he lived uh, he lived in front of my house. My, my friend my, from my childhood. And he uh, he was the, you know the funny thing that in my block he was in the school of art and uh, another woman was in the school of art. And me and my mom, I mean, my mom was in another, uh, another, another city. But it's kind of funny that, uh, kind of funny that so many people in my blog in a school of art, because that's so many people, I mean, three persons. And my friend, he didn't tell, tell, tell me anything. He, for him, was like, oh, it's pretty good, it's pretty good, that's it. And after a year or a couple of years in the school of art, I saw my own sculpture again. By accident, you know, it was kind of in, a, in my uh, basement and at that time. And I saw it and, oh my God, that was so terrible. It was just really bad. Yeah, it was kind of, it, looks, it didn't look like a face, it looks like a mask. And for me, it was amazing at that time. <laughs> Funny things that happen. Yeah. You know, but I didn't learn uh, that. I, it didn't stop me for sometimes when I feel that I, I got a nice painting, a nice drawing. I used to show my drawing to everybody. Like, look at my drawing, look at my drawing, it's really good. And after a couple of months, I check out my drawing again. And it was, oh my God, this is not good. You know, but I think we all got half that you know for me uh, i didn't uh, like i said that, that that didn't stop me for doing that again like check out my drawing check out my painting you know that we want that we love some uh people say oh your painting is pretty good even if maybe somebody's lying to you <laughs> but we love that that's normal we need some appro approbation sometimes but not just not just not too much because we could depend on, on people's opinion, but in this case that this is about realism, yeah, that's okay to, to critique. Okay, okay, I have seen something wrong here. I love this green neck 
wanna keep it green. And add some just a little bit of light here. This violet that I added here, uh, definitely I have to get rid of that violet. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah, yes. Uh, mm, but I'm going to darken. I'm gonna use this dark, this black. Just to darken this a little bit. You know that when I see a color like this, uh, one option that is in my head is just repeat this color all over the shadows. But to be honest, I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah. I think uh, I'm going to go for more reddish color. And at the same time, uh, I cannot see the fully color. I mean, this, I see the glare. The glare is not just for you on the camera. The glare is for me too. I mean, I see this glare here. Let me block the light. Yes, this is one of the lights that is coming from up. You see that change the color a lot. I have to do something with this. I don't know what, but I have to do something with this. Uh, you see the difference? Look at the background, look at the shadow side of the face. Now look at that. I don't like it. Stepping back, just checking out. Mm. Mm. When I read the comments, okay. Uh, okay, guys, I have seen something here. Okay, okay. Yeah, yes, yeah, I have to fix this eye back here. I'm gonna zoom in that area. I'm zoom in my photograph. I'm gonna zoom in the video. You don't see the eye. Oops. Okay. Okay, I have to work here.
oops, I have changed the shape of the nose. I don't see this nostril here. and adding pure red here and I'm mixing it here Okay, adding a little bit of the reflected light that I see here. And every time that I see reflected light, I usually pick up blue or orange. I love those two colors. I think blue and orange work really good as a reflected light. Sometimes, not the time. Okay. I'm mixing orange with white, a touch of yellow. Well, I need to hold my hand. It's kind of difficult to make a brush stroke here. It doesn't look like pretty good, but let's continue working. I'm picking a little bit of blue. Okay. I just want to add a little bit more color. I'm going to use pure cover blue. Okay. Now red, pure red. Okay, uh, maybe I'm going to add some highlight to the eyes. I don't see highlight on the eyes, but uh, maybe that's going to help my painting. That's going to help my painting. Okay, first I'm going to add more light to the iris here. Okay, a little bit there, a little bit here. Okay, now let's add a highlight to the eye. Kind of here. Ok, 
okay. Another high line here, kind of between the sclera and the iris. Step back, you can see if I got expression. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm getting close. I need more shadow here in the middle of the brows because he has like a mad expression. Maybe here I have to exaggerate this a little. I need more, I need more, I need to add more to that. Yeah. Okay. Not pure white. Narrow the face here on this side. Mm, yeah, I can see clearly that. Just a minute. See? Media hora. That was my son again asking for his cell phone. <laughs> need to find a way to make my cell phone work to make the live stream for for Instagram. What do you think? That's him. You step back and check out the painting. That's him. Okay, don't think about little uh, mistakes that obviously I, uh, you're gonna find some mistakes 
a lot of mistakes. But just your first impression that you, when you see the painting, you think that's him or, or not? Yeah, because sometimes we think, oh, that's him, but, mm, but something is not okay. Yeah, that's when we have to start looking for some mistakes. Usually, you know, that's going to be about proportions. Or usually it's because we painted the eyes bigger, bigger eyes. Uh, we have painted uh, a bigger nose. Sometimes we got the proportion right. That means the position of the eyes, nose and mouth is okay. But the size of the eyes, mouth mouth and and our nose is not okay. Okay, I need to work on the mouth. I haven't worked on the mouth for a little bit. have to work here on this shadow here. A little bit of red. Then he's saying references between him and the guy from Star Trek. Okay, okay, that means I need to put more. Okay, thank you. Lower lip is smaller. Okay, I'm gonna check on that. This light here is affecting the leaf of the nose. A bit of shadows, oh, these wrinkles here. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I think it's here. Wow, it's too dark.
I'm gonna block the clear just to see more clearly. I'm blocking one light I have to my left. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm going to work on the neck. Okay, let's see. Okay, one thing first. First. It's just too intense here. I'm gonna knock it down this light. Hmm. Okay, yes, I think I have uh, some problem with values. Yeah. Okay, yes, first this light, uh, second uh, is the light here too, okay, and all the light in this side of the face I have to darken here. Okay, okay first, okay, let's kill this light a little bit. Okay, let's lower this brow a little bit okay. now let's pick up a bigger brush not my brush okay. let's see if we can just darken this color here you know, to add more roundness to the face, I like that. I like this uh, brush strokes here. I'm just going to, you know, uh, I mean, value is important. If we see a value mistake, we have to correct that. That's really important. Okay. More shadow here. A bit of red. Okay. Yeah, a little bit darker. More red here. Okay. Now here. I see a shadow in this side of the face. Okay. Darken this light here. Darken a little bit of this light on the chin. Why should I darken up more? Oh, here. Screen your, screen down your eyes a lot, okay? There's no other way to see mistakes. The shape of the ear, for example, uh, the shape is not good. Make it a little more straight. Here's more rounded. Draw here more around it. Okay.
only problem that it doesn't look dark because because of the glare. <laughs> I have to move those brush strokes. Okay, here too, it should be a little bit darker. Okay, 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 mm -hmm. okay, no, no. still see some glare here and I've changed the direction of this brush stroke. Let's see if that fixed the glare. Yeah. Oh, now it looks too dark. <laughs> okay, um, I'm not going to darken uh, light up that, this is going to be more about the more color. More. Uh, for example, here. I'm trying to keep the same value, but just adding a little bit of color. Well, that's not good. I have killed this highlight I'm keeping the lights here, here, here oh, maybe this light is just too bright too mm. yeah, let me see Darken, darken up, darkening up this. Okay, what is, what is, what is? about the mouth, okay, yeah, the mouth is not okay. Mm, okay, okay, okay. I think it was okay about um, 20 minutes ago because I, basically I'm going to do something that 
it was like this before it has it was more rounded more thicker in this side and what I did is uh, I changed that and now I change it back again The nose is the same, the shape of the nose. Okay, I have changed the shape of the nose by mistake. Continue down my eyes. Okay, I think the, the nose is more rounded. Uh, let's see, yes, yeah, 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 maybe it's more rounded. Okay, it's been two hours and a half. Yeah, I think. I'm gonna maybe paint just for maybe just ten, ten, ten more minutes and that's it. See the eyes, yeah. Mm. Kind of close the nose, more rounded. Mm, that's okay. The mouth, I think I have the shape close. I could do more, yeah. Definitely, we always can, could, can make more. Mm, okay, the ear, he has a big ear. Yeah. Uh, what about a little bit of hair here? Maybe I'm missing some wrinkles here. I have a really clear wrinkle that it goes. I have to hold my hand. It goes like this all the way. Yeah. I want to make it even a little bit clear. You know, I think these wrinkles add something to his expression. Step back a little bit again. Okay, 
gonna add some green I have here uh, chrome green hue just going to add some green here I just don't want the neck alone there with that green no I love this green here I know that it's not okay I know that the color is shouldn't be there that I mean you want to be kind of realistic pretty realistic the color doesn't work there but uh, you know I, I like it <laughs> what can I say I like it I could even add more of the green of the face but I think maybe that would be too much I mean right now that's no way because I mean that's gonna be just to spread more and more of that and that's gonna take every time that you make a change definitely it's gonna take that you're going to need to go back and forth trying to fix 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 okay Some touches, okay. Just some touches. I just want to add some touches of color. Comparing, uh, capturing the screen to check out here on my, my monitor. You know that I captured the screen. You can do that with your cell phone, take a photo, and you reverse the image. Okay, that's gonna help you a lot. Or, of course, you can use a mirror because that idea is the same as using a mirror it's just the same okay you can use a, a regular mirror and at the same time to check out values you can use a black mirror uh, for that you use your cell phone that's the easy way to use a black mirror
think this brushing is better. Just a little bit of shadow here. I think he has a little bit here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, here too. Okay, I think that's it for today. Mm. Stepping back. Okay, 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 just five more minutes because I'm just, I know something is wrong, but I'm not able, I'm not able to, to say it. I'm going to use my cell phone and I'm going to just use it like a black mirror, okay, just to check out. Definitely something about the, the shadows that they should be a little bit darker. But I think I got the shape of the head at the end. I fixed this just a minute ago. It was a mistake here. The, the shape here it was it wasn't right. Now I'm thinking uh, maybe make the head grow a little bit. I don't know if that's gonna help. But I think and I have a doubt there if. I should make the head grow or just okay I think I don't want to move anything eh, just keep it there okay. yeah, light up here this line here a little bit Ok, 
Okay, okay, more roundness over here. And I don't see the wrinkle on the face, on the side of the cheek. Uh, I'm missing this wrinkle here. Mm. Kind of here. Yeah. And a little wrinkle here. Okay. Mm. I, I see more wrinkles on his face, but uh, maybe that's too much. That's enough with the, those brush strokes that definitely are creating some. Uh, add some edge to the face. Oh, more. I have to make this thicker. The brow here. Okay, I think that's it. I'm gonna read some comments. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, thank you, thank you. I mean, uh, okay, dry for a double Okay, yeah. Are you speaking about hyper break emphasis? I think. Okay, that's nice. Uh, probably he has shoulders. Yeah, I didn't paint the shoulders. Yes, I'm missing that part. Uh, Reeb Webb is saying the neck needs some fresh color, not just all green. <laughs> yeah, I, li I like that green there. It's just, um, it's just I like it. Yeah. I know that maybe it's not okay, but you know that uh, I added, I'm, not sure, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna make an, I'm gonna zoom in. Uh, I'm trying to add some color by adding green, green, blue. Uh, it's kind of difficult to see red, green, blue. Okay, red, blue here, red, blue. Uh, it's not like a lot of color. Uh, and this green here on the neck is, I think, I like it. I just like it. Okay, sometimes you like something. You don't need like a reason, a reason for for that. I don't need like. Uh, it's not like I wanna make the neck receive a lot. It's not like I just just want to create more contrast with coloring on the side of the face. Okay, it's just uh, I like it. I don't know. Maybe it's it's not okay. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's not okay. But yes, I like. It. Yeah. Uh, we should see a little bit of the left ear. Oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't see that on the image. Uh, maybe if, if uh, I'm gonna zoom in the image a lot. Yeah, I think you're right. It's a little bit, yeah, a little bit next to the eye. That's maybe one thing that was confusing me for the thickness of that the face, the the, the width, the width of the face. Yeah, maybe it was about that. Okay, the, I mean, I'm not gonna be able to, to do it. It's just so difficult. It's, it's just too subtle that to try to 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 draw that area. Yeah, one thing that I, I wanna fix is that I, because I was I was checking out that I realized that I can add more shadow here and more light.
que en son brincos gira ok Well, another thing is uh, about the eyes. I would love to maybe make the eyes darker, but at the same time, um, I don't have like too much on my painting on the eyes. It's like uh, this kind of contrast that I have here. That's the only thing that is kind of showing the eyes. Oh, another thing. I need more red here on the tear duct. I added a little bit of pure red on the tear duct. Okay. And I think that's it for today. Hope you like it. I hope you subscribe to my channel if you're not a subscriber. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I just read this, read this in comments and then it's saying even if it not is not on the image you twisted the face so we have to see the ear. Yeah, yeah you're right. We should see we should see a uh, ear on the ear there. Yeah. yeah. You're right. I think you're right. I'm not gonna paint it because I mean that's gonna be too difficult right now. That's gonna be, I could just paint like just 10 minutes in a year and maybe eh, that's gonna be for nothing well, I'm giving up on that ear <laughs> okay hope you enjoy and ha had some fun and I uh, hope you can try paint you know that you have the image in the description box and you have the link to the link to my patreon account you have a link to the oil paint that I use. You can buy the same by just using the links to Amazon. Okay. Uh, let me put my face here to say bye. And turn, turn off some lights. Okay, here I am, the, the corner, hope you have enjoyed the process and see you next time, okay, see you Thursday, okay, take care you all, bye, I'm going to finish up the Instagram live stream, I don't know how to do this, okay, I'm going to finish up first here on YouTube,